hit that like button, ay. Subscribe and hit that notification bell, ay. Sit down and relax, listen up. It's that Carl's Evening Coffee Show. Hey, Carl here today with another Evening Coffee. This is going to be episode number seven. And uh, I think I'm going to title today, uh, you know, Listen to the Voice of the Lord. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Um, so, first of all, let me say that uh, I'm not saying that God's necessarily speaking today as far as like he did to the prophets or the apostles or Jesus or whatever. But I do believe the Lord is working in the world today to help men to follow him faithfully. I do believe that. He's using his word to do it. He's using um, leaders and things like that to do that. And so, listen... The, the story today comes from my childhood. Um, I was a hunter as a child, and uh, you know when I got to be a teenager, there were certain things that happened uh, in my life where I felt so guilty. And whenever I would feel guilty about something, I would just you know try to cover it up. And uh, one such occasion happened uh, when I had borrowed a bow, deer hunting bow. Uh, to from a neighbor and uh, let's see here and I borrowed this bow and I was using it to hunt with my friend my best friend at the time and uh, we well, still my best friend but I, I was using it to uh, to to hunt and I broke the sight on the bow I broke it fiddling with it I felt so guilty and it was a you know, cheap side. I could afford a new one. My mother could have paid for a new one. But instead of telling the guy, I mean, in front with him, say, listen, I broke the, the site. Um, what I decided to do was, since I was a kid and could, uh, get, couldn't get the money, I decided I was going to steal it. That's what I did as a kid. So, but to back up, a few, a few days prior to this, my grandfather had told me, so they had just built a brand new super center Walmart in the town I lived in, in Georgia. And uh, they just built it. And my grandfather just, I guess you call it divine intervention. You know, I don't know how to explain about it. He had told me a few days before I got in trouble trying to steal a bow sight from Walmart. He said, Carl, make sure you don't try to steal nothing from that Walmart because they have cameras everywhere. A couple days later, I'm in Walmart. They got a bow sight, $7.50. Now, I can afford $7.50, but I asked my mom she wouldn't buy it for me. And I told her why, but she wouldn't, she wouldn't buy it at the time. So I decided to shove it down my jacket. Take out the package and shove it down my jacket. I played guitar at the time. I was in the guitar shop uh, with my best friend. And this tall gentleman comes in and says, Sir, uh, did you steal a bow sight? Can I see the one you stole? And I immediately just showed it to him. Took it out my jacket, showed it to him. He said, follow me. So I ended up uh, in jail for that or, or in the police department. And uh, my grandparents posted bail for me. And, you know, um, long story short, you know, I admitted to the judge what I did. For a $7.50 bow site, I had to pay $750. And then I had seven months probation, where I've seen the probation officer like once a month or so. It's something very big for something so small, but I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson that day. And I never, to my knowledge, I don't think I've ever done that. Or anything like that since that day but that's not the point I want to talk about today during the coffee uh, today's coffee break is that what I want to talk about is is that yes it's true that God may not be right in scriptures today he may not be doing sending people to walk on the water or you know to call fire down from heaven but if you can hear and listen Sometimes, when people speak to you, little things they say, and your heart just tingles inside 
like the apostles when they were with Jesus. And your heart just tingles inside like, I really feel that means something for me. Pay attention to it. Because you never know, you may, meet, you may need it soon afterwards. And the truth is, is that God could be using that person to give you a warning or help. Now that person is not prophesying to you. It just happens to be something they said that means something to you. And they don't even have to know that it meant something to you. My grandfather had never knew about any kind of stealing that I had ever done. He just happened to just say to me out of the blue, Carl, make sure you don't steal from Walmart. They have cameras everywhere. I didn't heed the warning, and I got myself in big trouble. That's happened as an adult multiple times. People tell me, listen, you know, don't do this. Something bad's going to happen. They don't know me. They don't know my situation. But it just happens to be that, you know, as a warning that really does need to be heeded in my life. So I guess you could say that it is the voice of God. But they didn't prophesy to me. It's just something that they just said, and I just felt it in my heart. You know what? I think that's what the Lord is saying to me. That's my lesson today. That's the evening coffee. Thank you, and God bless.